Hey, it's Jacob White back again with another video. Um, <coughs> um okay. <laughs> so, for today's video, uh, this is going to be, uh, I guess, another installment, uh, if you will, in a series of videos that I do of various things that I got recently. This is another video of various things that I got recently because I got quite a few things yesterday. Quite a few new things yesterday. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So this first thing is a new video game that I got from GameStop yesterday because uh, I saw I had a, a GameStop gift card in my wallet and had like $20 on it. I, I have no idea where the gift card uh, came from. I don't, I don't remember like who gave it to me or whatever. I, I know I never, I know for a fact I didn't, never bought a GameStop gift card myself. So I know it was a gift from somebody. I do not remember. Uh, who got it for me, but anyways, so, yeah, so with that gift card, I went to GameStop, and I got this game, Resident Evil Village, the newest game in the Resident Evil series, um, so, like, the, uh, so I got this for, like, uh, $25, uh, the gift card I had only, only had $20 on it, but then I had some cash, I had, like, $7 in cash, so I used that as well, uh, so, yeah, um, but, uh, Yes, so, um, but with tax around up to like 26 something, and then with the $7 cash, it, um, it was, um, then with the $7 cash, I had it round up to 27, so I got a few cents back. Anyway, you don't really need to know all those details, don't really need to bore you with all the specific details, <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, um, so, like, the older Resident Evil games, like, the first few Resident Evil games I'm not really a fan of, but then Resident Evil Biohazard came out, which was the seventh one, and basically fell in love with it. It's, like, my favorite horror game. Um, like, my favorite horror video game is basically, if you don't know what Resident Evil 7 Biohazard is about, it's about, uh, he plays this guy named Ethan Winters, who, uh, his wife Mia went missing, and she sent him a, a weird little email, or, or at least he thought it was from her, um, saying, like, hey, I'm in Dolby, Louisiana, come get me, um, so, uh, yeah, there, it was, like, there's this, there's this family in the game called the Bakers, and they, like, captured Mia, and, um, like I said, you play as Ethan, and you have to go and rescue your wife Mia in the game, um, and you have to fight off all of the, like, the evil family at the, I guess, the estate, if you will, that you go to in Louisiana, the Louisiana, which is the setting in the game. And it turns out they're, like, infected with some sort of mold or something. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't really want to go into all the details, because, like, um, I don't really want to reveal what happens in the game in case you haven't played it and you want to play it. But, uh, yeah. So, I, I do have Resident Evil Biohazards in my collection. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, um, but yeah, th so this one is the game that came right after that one, Resident Evil 8 Village, um, so, um, so, like, starting with Resident Evil 7, the Resident Evil series kind of, like, changes, so the first, like, six Resident Evil games focused on one story in, like, a town called, like, Raccoon City or something like that, and then starting with the seventh one, it's, like, a completely new story, like, standalone, if you will, like, like, completely separate from the first six Resident Evil games, from the older games. Um, but this is the newest Resident Evil game, Resident Evil Village, the eighth Resident Evil game to be more sad. This one's about, um, it contains the story from the previous Resident Evil game, Biohazard. You play as Ethan Winters again, and, um, and, uh, Chris Redfield, who's one of the main characters in Resident Evil, he, um, he seemingly kills, uh, your wife Mia, and, um, and then he kidnaps your your baby in the game Rose. You have a, uh, in this game you have a daughter now, um, but um, it turns out that um, the wife Mia wasn't actually Mia. I'm not gonna go into detail on that because that's spoilers. If you haven't played this, any anything you want to play, I'm not gonna reveal anything about it. But uh, basically, you play as Ethan once again. You get you get captured and taken to this weird village, you have to try and find your way out, you know, you also have to try and find your, uh, your daughter, Rose, and stuff, but it says, fear surrounds you, fight for survival in a village filled with unspeakable horrors and vicious creatures, 
I've played a little bit of this so far, and it's pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'm going to like it as much as Biohazard, but yeah. And this was pre-owned, by the way. This wasn't brand new. Um, but there's the, the game disc there, and there's no instruction manual in it. I'm not sure if it originally came with an instruction manual or not, but yeah, that's that. So yeah, that was the only thing I got from GameStop, and the rest of these things I got in the mail yesterday, because I had ordered some DVDs from Amazon that I had wanted, because I got a $25 Amazon gift card for Valentine's Day. So, yeah, I ordered these with that gift card, and they came in the mail yesterday. So this first one is The Naked Brothers Band, the movie. Um, so I technically did already have this, but I didn't have the case for it. I only had the disc. It was like a really old disc, and like a big book of discs I have. Um, but I really wanted to get a new fresh copy, and, like, with the case and stuff. Well, this isn't new and fresh, this is, uh, this is a, a used copy. Um, but I, I think for, like, a brand new, uh, copy of, of this on Amazon, the price was a little too much, so I had to get a used copy. Um, but, yeah, this movie is very nostalgic for me. Um. Because, um, if you watch my, uh, video that I actually made on Valentine's Day, speaking of Valentine's Day, um, if you watch my video that I made on Valentine's Day, which was my favorite shows and movies, do, uh, or, no, not my favorite shows and movies, my favorite DVDs and Blu-rays that I have, I showed all many Naked Brothers Band DVDs in that video because, um, because Naked Brothers Band, I share a Nickelodeon show, um. So, yeah, and, um, this, uh, the Nick Brothers Band movie actually has some songs on it that, um, they're kind of rare to find, they're not, like, on, like, all the songs in the Nick Brothers Band movie aren't on, like, Spotify or Apple Music or anything, like, they're not on any of those, um, I think there's, like, little, little videos of them on YouTube, but they're, like, really low quality and stuff. They made it, like, a little CD that was called the Naked Brothers Band Music from the movie, but, um, I'm not sure if that's really available anywhere anymore. But, yeah, this movie had songs in it, like, um, of course there was Crazy Car, you know, Crazy Car to Leave Me Nowhere. Leave. Yeah, there's that song, and then there's also, um... This also had Motor Mouth, that's the song that goes ba 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 cha 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 box. Um, and then there's also the song that Nat made for Rosalina, that song was just called Rosalina, and it went, You're my only love, my only never ending love, Rosalina. Um, and then there's also a song called Hardcore Wrestlers with Inner Feelings. So, went, Hardcore Wrestlers, Hardcore Wrestlers, Hardcore Wrestlers with Inner Feelings. And then um, there's a song called uh, If There Was a Place to Hide that went like, If there was a place to hide, I'll go, but no. Um, yeah, there's just, um, there's just a lot of really good songs on the Nick Brothers Band movie. And that songs are unfortunately pretty hard to find these days. Um, so special features include Crazy Card, karaoke music video, and making up the movie featurette as well. Um, now, um, some copies of the Naked Brothers Band movie DVD came with a bonus disc that had like the first episode of the Naked Brothers Band show on it, the VMAs episode. Um, and I was hoping that this copy that I'd ordered from Amazon would have the bonus disc in it, but unfortunately it does not have that bonus disc, uh, which, uh, that bonus disc is probably pretty rare, because I haven't really seen a, a lot, I've just seen a couple of listings, like, on eBay, for example, with the bonus disc in them, and then also, I saw this Nick Brothers in the movie DVD with the bonus disc at a thrift store, the, a community thrift store to be exact, it was just called a community thrift store, very generic name, but, um, yeah, I ended up not getting that copy from the thrift store mainly because the the discs in that copy were like uh really scratched up. So yeah. Um but I should have gotten it because I had the rare bonus disc in it, but you know, too late now. Um so yeah, there's an incident here. It mentions the only one I wanted to complete for a season. I have that, but 
the first disc in that disc one actually broke and uh when i was making one youtube video a while back i forgot what youtube video it was but um i was taking one of the discs out of the mines i wanted one to play first season dvd and ended up breaking i suddenly broke it but uh, yeah uh, I, lo I looked up the complete first season like 101 on Amazon and the the price is the price for it was like ridiculous so that this complete first season DVD must be pretty rare nowadays because the price on uh, for this on it was almost uh, like really high so um yeah so um I'm probably not gonna be able to get a, a new copy with unbroken discs anytime soon because like I said the price on it was almost really high uh, and then Spongebob's Square Pants Season 4, Volume 2. I don't have that specific DVD, but I do have the, um, the, like, newer reissued version of the complete fourth season of Spongebob Square Pants. And I have the, um, the first 100 episodes Spongebob DVD set. Actually, the newer individual complete fourth season that I have, it came in, like, the, uh, complete third and fourth season double pack that I got from Walmart. Along with the, uh, also a complete first and second season. Uh, double pack, if you will. And Nick Picks Volume 5. I don't have that specific volume, but I had Nick Picks Volume 1 and then uh, Nick Picks Holiday. And then Avatar Last Airbender Book 2 Earth Volume 1. I've never seen Avatar, so I'm not really interested in that. And on the back here, it actually mentions some Nickelodeon CDs available from Nick Records. So we have a SpongeBob DVD, or not DVD, a SpongeBob CD called The Best Day Ever. And then uh, two Nickelodeon Kids Choice Award CDs, Volumes 1 and 2. And then a Drake and Josh CD as well. Um, I'm not sure if, if any of these CDs are really available anymore. Uh, I mean, I know that like the SpongeBob one and the Drake and Josh one are available like digitally on Amazon or not Amazon, digitally on Spotify. Because I've seen like songs from these CDs on Spotify, um, but I'm not so sure about these two because Choice Award ones. But, uh, yeah, the, the physical CDs, though, might be really rare. But, uh, yeah, and then we have the disc, of course. And I threw away the, uh, the older disc that I had of this. I ended up throwing it away yesterday in the trash. Um, this, this newer disc, it's, it has, like, a, a few scratches and smudges on it, but definitely not as much as the older disc that I had. Anyway. I feel like I spent a little too much time showing that Naked Brothers in movie DVD if I had a lot to say about it. Um, anyway, so the next thing that I ordered from Amazon I got yesterday was Big Time Rush Season 1, Volume 1. Uh, Big Time Rush is another one of my favorites. It's a, it's a great show. Um, I already had one Big Time Rush DVD that I got for Christmas, like I think the year before last year, was Season 1, Volume 2. So I was missing Season 1, Volume 1. So, yeah, so I got it. Um, unfortunately, there was n never any other Big Time Rush uh, DVDs past Season 1. Um, at least in the U.S. I think I've read them in, like, other countries, like in the U.K. or Australia or something. They they put Season 2 on DVD in other uh, countries. Um, but only the, they only ever put the first season of Big Time Rush on DVD in the U.S., unfortunately. Um, I don't think they ever put season three or four on DVD anywhere at all. But yeah. So this has the episodes, uh, it's two discs set. This one has the episodes Big Time Audition, which is the very first episode, of course. Big Time Crib, Big Time School of Rock, Big Time Bad Boy, and Big Time Love Song. And then disc two has the episodes Big Time Mansion, Big Time Photo Shoot, Big Time Break, Big Time Demos, Big Time Party, and Big Time Jobs. And the special features include Big Time Break with trivia option, the episode Big Time Break with like a a trivia option, which means that, like, little facts pop pop up during the episode. And then a photo flip book, which is actually uh, kind of an interactive thing where you can, like, flip through photos of the four boys in Big Time Rush, Kendall, James, Logan, and Carlos. Um, and that, that was a pleasant surprise, that particular special feature, the photo flip book, because Nickelodeon usually doesn't do, like, interactive stuff in their special features. So that photo flip book thing was a fun surprise to have like a little interactive thing. And here's the inside with discs one and two. And then it lists the episodes and the special features just like on the back of the case. 
Um, but on, on the inside, it like, has little synopses, if you will, of each of the episodes. It uh, doesn't do that on the back of the case. But, yeah, that's that. And I saw, like, uh, I found, like, a, a video of, like, a, it's like a trailer for, um, a trailer for the Big Time Rush Season 1 Volume 1 DVD, and it said in that trailer that, like, the DVD originally came with, uh, digital copy code for one episode from Season 2, Big Time Beach Party, but that, uh, digital copy code thing did not come in, uh, in this particular copy of the DVD, unfortunately. That's all right. Um, so yeah, and like I said, I already had season one, volume two. I just need season one, volume one. Um, I think season one, volume one is actually better than season one, volume two. I feel like they're a little bit more creative with this volume than volume two. That's just my opinion. Anyways, and then one last thing I worked for Amazon I got yesterday. This is I Carly the Complete Third Season. Um, now I already had quite a few iCarly DVDs, like I had three, like, little episode compilation DVDs, if you will, which were I Fight Shelby Marks, I Saved Your Life, and I Space Out, and then as for iCarly season DVDs, I had Season 1, Volume 1, Season 1, Volume 2, uh, Season 2, Volume 1, and the complete fourth season, um, so I'm, I was missing the complete third season, I found it for a pretty low price, um, so now the only iCarly DVDs I'm missing are uh, Season 2, Volumes 2 and 3. Um, it's pretty cool, uh, like, how, how many iCarly DVDs that they came out with, because um, usually uh, Nickelodeon doesn't uh, put, like, all, all seasons of their shows onto DVD, um, unless they're talking about, like, the Amazon Burn Demand DVDs, if we're just talking about, like, regular retail DVDs like regularly made by Paramount or Nickelodeon or whatever um and they usually don't put all the seasons on DVD but they decided that iCarly was popular enough that they would put uh the seasons of iCarly the seasons of it on DVD actually they didn't put the last season of iCarly DVD for some reason it's only the first four seasons there was like five seasons in total and then when you did the first four seasons they never put the last season of iCarly on DVD for some reason um uh, there's a little part of the case down here that's ripped off, as you can see, there's a part of the, of, uh, not, not a part of the case, a part of the, like, um, the, like, uh, paper, I guess, and I don't know what to call it, like, the, yeah, there's a piece of that, was, like, uh, missing there, like, ripped off for some reason, but yeah, this is a two-disc set, just like the Big Time Rising 1 Volume 1, very similar to that. This one has the episodes, I Got a Hot Room, I Do, I Got Penny Tees, or I Sell Penny Tees, rather. Uh, I Get Pranky, I Sam's Mom, and I Pity the Neville. And then disc two has the episodes, I Hire an Idiot, I Star Fan War, I Own P, and I Party with, with Victorious. Which I think is the, the best crossover in TV history, in my opinion. I Party with, with Victorious, that's when I Carly meets Victorious. And the special features include Carly's Hot New Room Tour, Meet Sam's Mom, and Arch Enemies. Um, and, um, obviously the I Party, I Party with Victorious is my favorite episode on this, but then I also like, um, I like all the episodes on here, obviously, but, um, my favorite episodes on here are probably, um, I, Sam's Mom, that's a pretty good episode because that's when we finally meet Sam's mom, who was, uh, Sam's mom was, like, mentioned in basically every episode, like, she was mentioned pretty heavily, um, but then we finally meet her in this episode, and she's played by the wonderful Jane Lynch. Um, and then I Pity, I Pity the Neville is a really good episode as well. It's when Neville returns, and he feels bad for, like, all the mean things that he did and stuff. Um, and he kind of becomes good. But then at the end of the episode, something happens to him and becomes bad again. Anyway, and then I start a fan war. That's, like, one hour uh, TV movie kind of thing. I start a fan war. That's when Carly, Sam, and Freddie go to Webicon, um, or Carly, Sam, Freddie, Gibby, and Spencer all go to Webicon, which is, like, a web convention, uh, it's basically a parody of VidCon, um, VidCon is, a like, a YouTube convention, um, uh, in real life, it'd be really cool to go to VidCon, but I think, um, they usually do vid VidCon, like, somewhere in California, which I'm obviously not able to go all the way to California, 
at this point in time, if you will. But, um, yeah, so in the I Started Fan War episode, basically there is a war between the Creddy and Seti fans. Creddy means, the Creddy fans mean, like, the people that want Carly and Freddy to get together, and then Seti is, the Seti fans are people that want Sam and Freddy to get together. Um, technically, Carly and Freddy were together in one episode, I Saved Your Life, after Freddy saved Carly's life, because she was about to hit, get hit by a taco truck or something. And then Freddy pushed her out of the way. But they end up only briefly dating in that one episode. And then well, later in the show after that, Sam and Freddy dated for a few episodes. Because Sam, I guess, like developed a crush on Freddy and, unex and unexpectedly kissed him. And then, yeah, they dated, for, they dated for like three or four episodes and then broke up. Um, but yeah, here's the inside with the two discs. The episode is like little synopsis and stuff, and then the special features listed again. Um, so yeah. Okay, there we go. Um, so. Alright, um. So that is all that I wanted to show today. There was actually one more thing that I ordered from Amazon after I got that $25 Amazon gift card, but that hasn't come yet. I'm not going to reveal what it is. You know, I don't want to spoil the surprise. But, um, yeah, so I might do a little video on that, or I might, like, just, like, quickly, uh, when I do a video, my, when I do a video, um, like, whatever I want to do a video on, I might just quickly show that, and then another DVD that I ordered at the beginning of the video before I get to, like, the main thing in the video, you know? Um, that's sometimes what, what I do, and I want to quickly show one, uh, just, like, one little thing. I'll just, like, uh, when I do a video, I show that one thing at the beginning of the video, and then I get to the main thing of the video. But, uh, yeah, anyways, that's, uh, that's basically it for this video. Um, um... <laughs> lost my train of thought for a second um but yeah that's basically it for this video uh of course don't forget to like comment and subscribe and of course ring the bell so you get notified whenever i post any new videos and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed this i don't have anything else to say so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll of course see you in the next video peace